I promised to review the Elite Pens, but I'm not gonna be reviewing them because the dude asked me to wait a little bit. Hi everyone and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milenis and in today's episode of CMTR I've decided to review something that I reviewed a year ago from the same guy, Pratic Pen, but uh, the review I did a year ago was not that good. I had almost no experience with uh, reviewing products. Not that I have uh, experience now, but at least I'm doing this series and uh, it's gonna be cool to review the product and give my rating. As always, CMTR is gonna be separate in uh, three parts. I'll give some uh, basic info and the story behind the pens. In the second part, I'll test the pen. And in the third part, I'll give my rating in six categories. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Pratik Pen is a brand uh, based in Turkey, made by Muhammad Penli, who has been doing calligraphy for 35 years. He started making pens 8 years ago and 3 years ago he started producing the Pratik Pen brand. I discovered Pratik Pens last year on Instagram, as most of the pens that I'm discovering, as well as the calligraphy artists. This is how it comes if you order a set. A set could be 5 pens, 8 pens like this one or 10 pens. If you order just 1, 2 or 3 pens, you're not getting the case. The case is a gift, a bonus for a whole set. Something that I learned today and which I'm not really happy about is that uh, this case is a real letter. I have I don't know, 4, 5 or 6 of those cases, pen rolls, whatever you call it. And uh, since I'm not happy that it's a real letter, if you want me, I'll give them away. You don't need to do anything, there is no game. I'm just giving them away because probably there are people who don't mind having such pen rolls. It would be a waste just to throw it away. Please keep in mind, I prefer people who are based in Europe and I do not prefer to send them to India because uh, post in India is not okay. A lot of things are getting lost. Uh, there is only one way for me to send them all over the world and this is if you pay for uh, for the shipping. I don't mind sending it to anyone, just let me know in the comments. By the time I received them last year, one pen was selling for $12. At this moment they are selling for $13. No big difference, I think it's okay because uh, automatic pen and other broad, broad edge pens that are kind of similar to those they're plastic and they sell for much more. So I think $13 is uh, still a, a good price. Um, I broken, <laughs> I broken my plastic uh, ruler and I can't find my metal one. But I measured the pen before recording it. Just the holder is 14 centimeter. The tip nip is two centimeters. So the whole pen is like 16 centimeters. Very good size. Not too thick, not too thin. It stays really nice in the hand. It's very easy to use it and uh, it's comfortable in the hand in general. The pen is made out of wood, unlike the automatic pens, which are made from plastic. Plastic not cool, wood cool. <laughs> the whole body is out of wood. Here is probably some kind of rubber, not sure. Here you can see the logo, a really nice touch and the metal tip or nip that has written the size. I don't know what KT stands for but KT4 is uh, 4 centimeters. 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 19 and 25 millimeters, not centimeters guys. <laughs> I said centimeters, it's millimeter. So this is 25 millimeter or 2.5 centimeters. Let's jump into testing the pens. For today's video, I'm gonna use the Molotov Aqua Pad uh, 100 GM, which you probably already know if you've seen uh, CMTR episodes. And for the most of the video, I'll be using the J Herben ink, which is super nice. For the last size, 25 millimeter, I'll be using the Colorex because the nip is so big that I cannot really dip it here. I can't also dip it in this one, but at least I can pick some watercolor and put on the pen. I've already uh, made some guidelines, so I don't waste time on the video. And 
I'm not gonna be using the grainy side of the paper. I don't know why I just decided like this. I'll be using the smooth surface of the paper. And yeah, let's have some fun. Starting with the 6mm size, I'll be doing uh, two A's. The first one is the version of high letters, which I've posted today in the community tab. And you can find it also on our Instagram. And the second A will be the usual that I'm making. Uh, next is 8mm. Just keep in mind, both are fracture, both A's. It's just different ways of making them. I've made before uh, high letters version of A as well, but uh, mine to go is the one on the right side. And because I was following the ductus of high letters, I had some issues. Usually when I make this A, it's much easier, but just because I was trying to do similar as him, some of the left A's are not as good as I wish they could uh, be, but yeah, in general having fun. Uh, just switching sizes. Um, here I messed up a little bit, I don't know if you can see or if you can notice. It takes a bit longer to write his version. My, I don't know if it's, if it's my version is easier or just because I'm used to write it so much, uh, somehow it goes faster. In, uh, in general, the pen goes very smooth, no problems writing, very sharp letters, pure satisfaction. Just keep in mind, the bigger the size of the pen becomes, more often you have to dip the pen and you have to be more careful not to spill the ink out of the nib because this is also happening sometimes it didn't happen in this video but keep it in mind and now i'm doing something very stupid uh, don't do it don't be like millennist you're not supposed to uh, load your pen like this uh, you have to use a brush to apply the ink on it i'm just stupid and i do everything in the most wrong way as you can see here. But yeah, very sharp letters, uh, very satisfying. Here's the final result. This is the J Herben. I don't know if you can see, but it's shimmering. I also didn't mix the ink, the ink that much, but you can still see the shimmer here and there. And those are the final results. I also show here some cheap paper, this is like printing paper, very thin paper, but the pen goes again very nicely. Just some examples that I did before shooting the videos, just to have. I'll be rating the two as always in six categories, which are uniqueness, quality, price, accessibility, durability and cool factor. In terms of uniqueness, I think it's kind of unique. I mean, it's not the most unique pen, but uh, compared to the other similar broad edge pens on the market, I'm not talking only about uh, automatic pens. I've seen uh, many more similar kind of broad edge pens. I just don't know their brands, but uh, for uniqueness, I'll give uh, five stars. Quality, uh, those pens are very good quality. Something that I didn't mention, they are almost 100% made by hand. A very small amount of machines are used, which is super cool. And uh, I'm very happy with the quality, so for quality I'll give 6 stars. Price, as I said, this was $12 by the time I got it, but now it's gonna be $13. Probably it's already $13, but still compared to other similar pens like automatic pens which are a bit more expensive sometimes depending on where you buy them much more expensive and having in mind that it's a small it's a small business and uh, that it's almost 100% handmade I think $13 it's super good price so about price I'll give six stars accessibility uh, here is here comes the problem like uh, I think you can order them mostly from Instagram. I know they're building their own website, but I'm not sure when it's gonna come. 
I've seen some stuff also selling on Etsy, but I'm not sure if uh, Mohamed is selling them or some other people. So in term of accessibility, I'll give three stars. Durability, they are very durable. I've had no issues with the pens. I had only one issue, which I mentioned in, in the last year's review and it was that uh, this rubber came down but it's very easy fixable you just put a bit of fast glue and i had no in no issues since then so about durability i'll give six stars cool factor i mean having everything in mind like they're handmade those cool details numbers, rubbers, even the case, which I'm not a fan because it's a real leather. I think it's pretty cool pen. I'm having fun every time that I write with them. So about cool factor, I give six stars as well. And here is my final score. And yeah. Also guys, I'm running together with Mohamed a giveaway on Instagram. I already mentioned in the community tab, a lot of you were complaining why on Instagram. I don't know why, uh, because the because Muhammad, the guy from Pratic Pen, he asked me to make the giveaway on Instagram and I'm making it on Instagram. We are giving five sets with uh, eight pens each. The whole giveaway is worth $520. It's super awesome. If you have Instagram, if you want to get a chance to win one, one set, of Pratic Pens, um, go to our Instagram and see the post about the giveaway. Last but not least, uh, let me know guys what do you want to see reviewed in CMTR. I have still some pens, I have a lot of inks, I mean not a lot of inks, I have 3, 4, 5 brands max, but yeah, I really don't know what to review next week, so if you have any suggestions please feel free to drop them in the comments. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about uh, the Pratic Pens and also let me know if you try them. By clicking the subscribe button, you show your appreciation for the content and by clicking the bell icon, you tell YouTube what you want to see. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Keep writing.